Where many parents from Bartlett, Arlington, Collierville, and other suburbs always stood by their mayors to create their own school districts. They say this was a long time coming. <laughs> Things are looking up for the Porter family. Not only does little Jackson turn one today. Happy birthday. So thank you. But Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam signed House Bill 1288 into law. That paves the way for this Bartlett family to enjoy their own school district. It feels good. I would love to have, um, you know, different school districts have their own schools and their own systems. I think it'll be good for the families that live out in these districts. Many voters approved a referendum last year to create their own school districts in each of their cities, but it was thrown out by a federal judge. Discussions now with the governor's signature, indicated. people are excited their vote will matter this time around. Fabulous idea. Why? Why overdue? It's just people wanting to control their own districts. That's understandable. It's interesting. It's exciting to see what's going to happen with that. We were really pleased this uh, morning when we got the news. We won't be electing school board members until November. We'll have to redo the referendum to establish the schools and the ordinances to establish the referendum. So we've got a lot of work to do uh, between now and November. As the suburbs work out the kinks, Rachel Porter remains hopeful that everything will run smoothly by the time one-year-old Jackson is ready for school and for his unborn brother. Another little boy on the way. Yes, <laughs> so this actually is oh. a great thing for us. There's another bill headed to the governor's desk, a Senate bill that lifts the ban to limit the number of school districts per county. It stands at six. But once the governor signs it, there won't be a limit, and that's needed because the unified Memphis-Shelby County School District exceeds the cap. Jackie Orozco, CW30 News.